I was playing a game of pickleball. We had a real good game going, a real intense game with four or five of the better players of the park. And I was going back, getting ready to serve. And I noticed something right here, right in the middle of my chest that I never felt before. And it lasted for less than five seconds. Didn't really think a whole lot of it. I've been very fortunate with good health and uh, very fortunate to I've been able to do a lot of running over the years and uh, walking back toward our house up this grade. And I noticed again in my chest that there was something there, not a sharp pain at this time, but just a, a pain as I was gradually walking up the hill. But I thought that is not normal. There's something going on there. I made an appointment with my uh, family doctor. And then he says, I would like to do a stress test. Within a few seconds, I could feel it in my chest again. And he told me there's some blockage there. Thursday morning of that same week, I was in the hospital and they were doing the catheterization and then they found 80% blockage of what they call the Widowmaker. Running marathons and just all the activities that I've done through the years and then to have something like this was a shock to me to my family, to my friends, nobody could believe it. The uh, procedure went well and I'm feeling good today and getting back to doing my playing pickleball and bike riding and enjoying everything again. People talk about heart attacks, you know, you talk about people that are, that are not that active. Uh, you see people that are overweight, you see people that are smoking and and you would think, well, they're, they're set up for a heart attack to happen to them someday. But it can happen to anybody. That was the last thing I'd ever thought was gonna happen to me was a heart issue. I tell people now, I said, boy, if you feel anything in the center of your chest, get it checked out as soon as you can. As I get older, it seems like we get a lot of aches and pains and sometimes you wonder, what's that about? But the aches and pain that start right there that one you gotta take seriously and, and go visit your doctor and let him determine <laughs> what's going on there.